All right, how's everybody doing? Good, I hope. Um, just as with the wading boots, rather than do the usual unboxing video, uh, I didn't want to review these Caddis waders until uh, I had a chance to use them. So these have been fished in probably for eight hours, and so far I'm really pleased with them. Um, the material feels sturdy, but it's not crazy thick. It does come with your standard suspenders. You've got a little loop here if you have some kind of attachment you want to click on there. Another one on the other side. Uh, it does have these little compartments. And then it also has a zipper compartment across the chest. Um, although the fact that it has these little drainage holes probably indicates that it is not waterproof. So I would not put your phone in there and um, count on it protecting you. I am 5 feet 10 inches and 150 pounds. I bought a medium. It fits maybe a little loose. However, I bought it mainly because the built-in neoprene booties are about size to my foot. Uh, they say it's a 10 and a half. It's a little bit on the big side, but once I cram it into my wading boot, it fits about right. So I would call this true to size on the boot, potentially slightly large. It has this nice little clip snap thing that you pull forward to attach it to your shoelaces on your wading boot to keep everything kind of snug. Elastic cuff here. Um, they're bone dry. I mean, they're doing exactly what they're supposed to do. They're medium warm. I was in 50 degree weather and wore uh, trainers underneath and was completely comfortable. I did upgrade to um, some fleece style um, under, under clothing base layer to make sure that I stay warm. Um, there is a belt that comes with this. The, there, notice there are no belt loops, so you just kind of wrap this belt around yourself and cinch it up. It works fine. It's kind of no frills. I mean, there's no like, you know, obviously you just wrap it around your waist and, and latch the thing on, but that certainly is working fine. And it also comes with this uh, bag that it fits the gear perfectly. Typically I fold it all up, put it in here, take it out to where I'm gonna go, put these babies on, and then when I come back to the truck, I just throw the waders in the back, hang them to dry. Um, I am very careful about not hooking them. Uh, I do not want to get a puncture in there, but I think as long as I'm reasonably careful with them, they should hold up pretty well. Um, they're a little bit baggy, uh, but again, I'm a pretty thin guy. So at 5'10", 150, buying the medium fit just right. But again, largely that was predicated on my desire to size the booties, which I think probably run a little bit large. At the time I'm making this video, these retail for right around, I think they're 140, but typically you can get them for 100 bucks. I got these uh, on an Amazon um, open box deal. They were brand new. Uh, the box that they came in was a little bit damaged, but I don't really care about that. So overall, I would recommend these. I would buy another pair if needed. Again, when it comes to some of this fishing gear, you can spend as much money as you want. I'm trying to spend enough that uh, it does the job effectively, but does not um, break the bank in so doing. And that they'll last, you know? It's got these quick release snap deals on your, on your suspenders. I just put it on more like a shirt. I just step into the thing and then put these over my shoulders and then slap the belt on and I'm good to go. The, uh, the junction between the neoprene booty and the leg where the whole system uh, interacts with the wading boot um, is really secure. I, I haven't felt that these things are sliding around on me. Uh, there's been zero water intrusion and overall they are getting the job done. So for the price, I certainly don't think you can go wrong. This is the Caddis uh, two-tone wading, uh, they call it a system, but I only bought one piece of it. So I'm not quite sure I'd call it a system. Again, I'd recommend it if you're in the market for waders right around the $100 mark. If you search around, you might be able to do a little bit better. Thanks for watching. Happy to respond to any questions or check out any particular questions you have about the gear. I can come check it out for you. Leave them in the, in the comment section below. Please like the video and uh, subscribe if you're into outdoorsy, practical and tactical type stuff because I'll keep the videos coming. Thanks guys. We'll talk later. Bye.